Hello and welcome to how to use the retarget pose from mesh node. So there's actually a very simple way to retarget a new mesh onto your existing mannequin animations. So here we have the mannequin in third person template as normal. So I'm brought in an, a new mesh for a character. And some of you may recognize this from the marketplace already. Here it is. The only thing you have to take note of here is what kind of skeleton is the mesh using. So most of the meshes you're going to find from the marketplace will use UE4 or UE5 skeleton rigs. But if they don't, the only difference between this method and the other method would be to make this uh, make your own retargeter, which I've got videos on how to achieve. So check those out if you want to go through that. But here we have a UE4 based skeleton. Okay. And you can tell it is because if I hover over the skeleton over here, it will say in the name UE4 mannequin skeleton. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my mesh, go create and choose an in blueprint. And the quick one by an in blueprint. And I open this up and I want to make this work with my existing mannequin. Now, usually that would have meant taking a retargeter and retargeting all the animations to that new skeleton and so on and so forth. But in this case, what you can do on his output pose is just put in a retarget pose for mesh. Now on here, you have to give it a retargeter asset. And our one is going from a UE5 to UE4 because our mannequin is UE5, but this guy is using a UE4 skeleton. So I'm going to use this retargeter. If your skeleton does not match a UE4, UE5 skeleton, then you have to make your own retargeter and put that in here. Now, one thing to note here is this use attached parent is ticked on to be true. What that means is that whatever we have attached this mesh to, it will copy its animation and feed it into here. So long as this source mesh component is empty. If we plug something into here, we can make it re uh, retarget to that mesh instead. So for now, I want to leave this as this is. Hit compile and save that. So now let's go in over to my player character. And in here, on the mesh, I'm going to add a new skeletal mesh. So it becomes a child of it. And I'm going to choose from there my new character model. And I'm going to give it my animation blueprint class, like so. And you can see it already working. It is reading its parent, which is the mesh here, and assigning it to my character. But as you can see, the mannequin is still visible. Because if I push play, it looks odd. You've got two characters running around in the same spot. But you can see it working really nicely. Yeah. So how to fix and get rid of the mannequin? Well, all you got to do is go into the mannequin's mesh component, go down to rendering and turn off visibility. However, when you do so, you'll notice that it breaks the animation. So when I push play, our character does no longer animate. And that is because the animation of a mesh does not update when it is not visible for optimization sakes. So our character here is reading live from that one where its animation should be. But it can't do that because it's not animating. So what to do is tell our mesh to animate even though it's invisible. So click on that mesh and go down to optimization section, which is near the bottom. Uh, there it is. And you'll see visibility based animation tick option. And its default is always tick pose. Click on this and change that to always tick pose and refresh bones. Hit compile and save that. So now it's invisible, it will still animate and therefore map its animation to our character without having to do any extra coding, any extra retargeting, it's live targeting to this. So it gives you a nice, quick, easy way of adding your own meshes to characters using one node. And there you go. If you like this content and want to see more and want to support the channel, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lady, where you can support the channel from just $1 a month and get access to all my videos early for everyone else. Thanks to all my patrons and YouTube members for the continued support in me and the channel. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.